Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. And if you are a viewer of my videos, which I hope you are, if you see this camera set up and you see this room, you know what time that is. That means it's time for a travel vlog. That's right. For some reason, I decided to travel just a whole bunch over the last month or so. I'm headed out to UK Vape Jam today, later today. My flight is late. It's like a 9 p.m. flight uh, on a Wednesday, which, pu which puts me into the UK on Thursday at 3.30-ish p.m. I don't know evidently how time zones and all that stuff works. I know I lose a whole day going there, but it should still be really fun. I don't have a whole lot planned. There's some businessy stuff, you know, that needs to happen with distribution and blah 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 blah. But I believe I'm going to be on some sort of advocacy panel with uh, Dimitri. Advocacy. Dimitri and uh, Phil, Mr. Phil Bassardo. So that should be fun as well. I don't have anything planned. Maybe I should have had something planned. But I don't have anything planned. Uh, all I have planned is a long 11 and a half hour flight straight shot from San Diego to Heathrow London Airport. And again, I'm not going to bore you guys with walking through the airport, sped up shots or traveling or, oh, pictures of the wing. I don't know why everybody does pictures of the wing. Uh, I don't plan on doing any vaping at all on the flight just because you know what? I don't need to vape on a plane. Uh, nobody should be vaping on a plane. I'm not going to vape on the plane because that's just bad form. But uh, I'm sitting here and I uh, thought I'd kick the vlog off and get going. So uh, you look at this too. When I shake the camera, oh, it's like the born identity. You'll notice there's no more rattling. That's right. The clips have been properly restrained no more clacking of the clips and that's what makes me happy as well so thanks everybody for joining me let's uh let's do this uk vape jam 2016 just using the complimentary laptops green tea and complimentary snacks you ever get that feeling like you're somewhere where you shouldn't be yeah the lounge for british airways they should not be in here they shouldn't allow people like me in here because there's businessmen and families and fancy people and I, mm -mm. nope, feel a little out of place. All good though, whatever, right? Uh, yeah, so, UK, good times. So far, I rode on a bus. And that was pretty exciting. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure the vlog gets much more exciting. I mean, so far I've just been in my office, and then that's it. And then I rode a plane and a bus. But it's gonna get better. I promise. I'm here, I got to the hotel, good. Uh, driving through, you know, the, the United Kingdom countryside and getting into London and I had a really great driver um, and there was a, a girl there too who was kind of pointing out, I've never been here to the UK, to, to the London area and I've always been very, very fascinated by it. I grew up uh, and my mom, loved the UK, loved Great Britain, loved everything about it. So I grew up watching a lot of BBC television shows. I grew up watching a lot of Faulty Towers and things like this. And so I've always been fascinated by the UK and London. And I know that I'm here for an event I didn't get, I didn't think I'd get to see as much as I already have on the drive over here. She's pointing out things. She's like, oh, that's, uh, you know, that's the River Thames. That's Trafalgar Square. That's Buckingham Palace. That's Tower of London and the Tower Bridge. And there's just so many 
people in London. It's almost just ridiculous. Just people, people, people everywhere. There's people and people and people and these roads are really, really narrow. And I'm used to, you know, in Southern California we have street parking and there's room for street parking and then there's room for other cars to drive. Here they allow street parking on streets that shouldn't have street parking on them. There's two rows of cars on either side of the street and then there's like one lane down the middle where two cars are supposed to go. So it's weird. You just wait and the cars are coming and coming and coming and then when there's a break, you go for it, right? It, right into oncoming traffic. It's just, it's, it's a different experience, you know what I mean? And as much as uh, traveling and international traveling especially kind of takes its toll on you mentally and physically, it is absolutely always worth it. I love the UK. I love being here. Everybody I've met so far is super, super nice. But like I said, I just got checked into the hotel. I'm going to unpack some stuff. The first thing I did was grab out a vape because I hadn't vaped in roughly 13-ish hours, which, eh, no big deal. When you're on a plane, it's fine. I slept most of the way here. I'm still very tired. I got about four or five hours of sleep on the plane, which for plane sleeping, that's amazing. Five hours of plane sleeping is, you know, unbelievable. That's unheard of, right? So the first thing I did when I got to the hotel is uh, grab a vape. And one of the things I brought, trusty, tried and true Hex Ohm. This is the new Indie Duo RDA uh, DHD trigger cap on top. This is a tobacco juice that I haven't talked about yet. It's not one of my juices. I'm not releasing a tobacco juice, but this is a legit awesome, awesome tobacco juice. Um, I haven't talked about it yet. We'll talk about it uh, in a future upcoming vlog. It's not like it's some big secret. There's just some information that I kind of need to clarify with a few people before I'm comfortable talking about it. But this has been a rat vape. And what I like about my hotel here in the UK, the window opens. I have a window right here that can open. So I've turned my fan on high and I have a window that's open. So I can basically just vape freely in here. I'll probably end up vaping over by the window mostly. But oh man, I just wanted to bring something that was reliable. So I brought my Hexome, I brought the Lazy Vapors Dual 18650 SX350J chip, and I brought my modified and upgraded First Order Trooper uh, series box. Uh, what do I have to run on the series box? I forgot completely what I'm running on the series box. Oh, it's the Velocity version too, with the Dude Juice Jade. This is, the, like I said, the Indie Duo with that tobacco juice, and I brought the Goldie, the BMI Goldie, with some Lane Cove Mai, -E, and that's all I brought to vape uh, with me to the UK. Hoping to try some juices I've never got to try before here at the event. It should be really good times. I am tired, I am hungry. I'm gonna go over to the event room. Um, I'm not gonna bring my camera or anything like that, but I'm gonna go over to the event room, I'm gonna meet up with, uh, <coughs> pardon me, some people and uh, get some food and possibly some good English beer into my system as soon as possible. So a lot of the feedback I've been getting on the travel vlogs is I don't show very much of the event. So what I'm gonna do is make it a point to take my camera around the event and I'm gonna put it into like, you know, a music montage, like I'm gonna do Maybe one for each, <coughs> pardon me, pardon me. Hmm. Maybe one for each day type of thing, but I wanna to put together a big, you know, a couple music montages like of the event, of the vendors that are here. And then there's gonna be some like sit down talky time like we usually do and trying new juices and atomizers like we usually do. So yeah, hope to show you much more of the event. This is a big event in the UK that not a lot of people in the States are gonna to get to go to. So I kinda of want, you, my viewers in the United States, to be able to experience this with me because we're all one big happy family and we're all on the same team. So that's what I'm going to do now. And, uh, <coughs> pardon me. Good Lord. I don't know why I'm coughing so much. Maybe it's the humidity here. Maybe I haven't. My ear still hasn't popped. My ear 
has not popped. I've tried every trick in the book. Um, I can breathe clearly. Nostrils seem to be working okay. Uh, just my ear just hasn't popped. So what are you gonna do? But all right, we'll see you tomorrow at the event. Okay, look, I, sh I should have brought my camera, okay? I didn't bring my camera, but I should have brought my camera because this is set up. This is a vape meet when it's empty and it's just a wonderful experience when it's empty. I heart cookies is over here off the record. There's over here wood books. Remember that wood skin? They're here. Praxis, I see Praxis Vapors. I see, uh, oh, I see Herman Vapes. You know what else I see over here? Mr. Herman Vapes. Oh, look at that. What's that? Yeah, an amber juice with Herman Vapes. That's awesome. That's, uh, that's very cool. Herman Vapes carries the uh, Twisted 420 stuff too. All the, uh, look at all that, Twisted 420 juice. But uh, yeah, they're rocking, uh, they're rocking the Namor juice stuff, which is cool. Brewwell is here, Blue Label is here. Uh, crazy stuff, man. So I, I should've brought my camera, I know I didn't, so I had to shoot this on my iPhone. So now I have to figure out a way to get this. Uh, should've brought my camera. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Tomorrow this will be all packed full of people and just going bananas. And just see, look how far you can see. You see how far you can see? You can go all, see all the way down to Liquid Haze, Liquid State down there, okay? Tomorrow, I'm gonna try to come back to the same spot <laughs> and see just how freaking hazy and vapory it is in here. Kind of crazy, but there you go. People are setting up. vape jam day one this is all b2b and uh we're gonna go over there and dear event organizers i'm leaving my hotel right now and you know where the venue is oh it's just uh it's just right up here it's about a i don't even know five second walk from the hotel which is amazing and there's hotel here hotel that's where uh, dot mod staying on the fucking yacht, but I, I love waking up, going out of my hotel, and walking, I don't know, 50 yards. <laughs> <coughs> to the event. And we got some posters. Yeah, look at that. Big Jam UK number two. There appears to be a line for B2B, so let's hope we can get inside. Perfect. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Look at this dot mod display. It's so pro sauce. Look at this banner. It's so good. Just forty thousand dollar banner. Wow. Wow, dot mod. <laughs> Looking pro here at the UK Vape Jam. That's so awesome. <laughs> What's up, brother? How are you? There's just so much stuff. There's uh, 
vendors that I've never heard of before. Nova, Nova liquids? Nope, I don't know who they are. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Uh, Inokins here. Zap juice? I've never heard of Zap juice. Now, Space Jam. Space Jam. I'm Space Jam, dude. Come on. Well, I'm working on Space Jam today. How are you, Mr. Green Green? Doing good. You all right? What's up, brother? I like seeing a vendor that I recognize. Absolutely. Oh, there's Space Jam. I know them. <laughs> I look over faces. and I'm like, I don't know. I You've don't got Lincoln State here, Charlie's. Yeah, yeah. 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 But then they have Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Here. It's good. There's some, uh, questionable branding going on here. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of yeah, rubs me the wrong way a little bit, I guess. But cut wood. Cutwood's always good, and they always have good branding. So there you go. What are you going to do? Budget ballers. Budget ballers. Twist it. If you're listening to me, your juice is good. You should say that more in your videos. Because I didn't know your juice was so good. But it's good. So the next video you make, please just say, hey, everybody, my juice is really good. Because it's good. It's legit. Good job. Yeah. Even the melon. I actually like the melon. Which is weird. But I actually like it. It's good. I've tasted three so far, and they're all delicious! This is nice and light and fruity and sweet. Super good. Clouds on a chain. <laughs> Just because. You guys call it fly. Yeah, you do 
someone's wearing a taste your juice shirt. Oh, it's Phil. Uh, yeah, <laughs> together on camera. I was wondering who's wearing a taste your juice shirt. And I was like, oh, it's just Phil. Who could have? It's just, Phil. Just Phil. Just it's Phil. Phil. It's just Phil. Phil. Where's your Nick Grim Green shirt? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I got a hat. That's it's just good enough. Green. It's just. It's just. It's just, just us from across, just the, from across good. the pond. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like the UK, Phil? I, uh, I, I really like it. I, I don't like getting here. There's always some kind of no. issue with getting here. Yes. There's always some kind of... Hold on a second. I need to... Oh, I can't talk right now. Yeah, oh, okay. No, hold on. Just look cool. Almost I'm ready. Like, yeah. Almost... Okay, we can talk now. Okay. They've yeah. gone by. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's always some issue, but uh, no, it's been good. And, yeah. and, you know, if this is B2B, tomorrow's going to be insane. Tomorrow's going to be... You're going to get, you're gonna get a lot of helmet. Are we on the stage together tomorrow? Yeah. You know what's going to happen is Jimmy that and Jimmy. Half, the, uh, half the questions are going to be political questions. They're going to go to Dimmy. Yep. And the other questions are all going to go to you, because I was here last year. So um, <laughs> uh, I'll see you again soon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, great, great. Danny Lolo, Ilea, James, what? In what? What? Yeah, in, what? One. in one shot? That's Absolutely it. Crazy. That's gonna get me subscribers right there. Subscribe. Subs, bro. So, just a quick update. Let me make sure I'm in focus. Right. So, just a quick update. Uh, been hanging out, hanging around. I got a V God hat, which I'm really excited about. I'm uh, overall really, obviously, really big fan of the uh, of the V God people. I got a Kinder Bueno, which these are the best candies on earth and I can only get them in the UK. I also got the new issue of Vape Around Magazine which has the second part of my interview from the uh, Vape Fest Ireland. Speaking of Vape Fest Ireland, ooh nice segue Nick. Uh, Ronan should be here soon so uh, I'm excited to see him again. I'm excited to hang out again. Have no idea what today or tonight has in store but uh, yeah, we'll see. It's a it's a really fun event. It's big. Today is the B2B day, so it's nice and, you know, a little bit more mellow. Um, when the public comes in, I think on the next two days, it's just gonna be bananas. But you know what? This Kinder Bueno, it makes everything all worth it. This is the best candy chocolate mm, on earth. All right, let's, let's, let's enjoy the show. Oh wow, that moo lighting is really good. We look really, oh there she is. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. The lighting, the lighting from the moo is really, really good lighting. Really good lighting. Well, I'm gonna film these guys. So moo e-liquids. Can we see it? Yeah, it's good, and their milk doesn't taste like cheese. The banana, the banana's probably my favorite. I tasted them all. The banana's probably my favorite. I do like the vanilla. I like them all. Whatever. I like them all. Deal with it. But their milk does not taste like cheese. Right? No milk, no cheese, no cheese. No cheese. No cheese flavor in there. <laughs> Like some other milk juices that I'm not gonna say. They have a strong cheese flavor. Mooey liquids, no cheese. And it's good. And you should be vaping it here, now. Well, the first day was fun. I shot some video. I think it's mostly gonna be like a music montage type of situation going on. I didn't get to actually like sit down and shoot stuff. I did taste some really great juices uh, from that pantry thing, the lemonade stuff. Really good. The, what else? The budget baller stuff was really good. The moo liquids was really good. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go out to dinner tonight, but I'm not gonna film that, because who wants to, why do you wanna, well, no one wants to watch me eat dinner. Anyway, should be good times. Back at it again tomorrow. All right, well today's Saturday. Saturday? Saturday. Day two of the event, open to the public. Sure, it's gonna be bananas. B A N A N A S. But should still be very good times. Oh, 
that I'm filming him. But that's Todd. Here we are at Dot Mod. Yeah. Say hi to the vlog. Hey, vlog. Yeah. 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 I just forget to shoot video sometimes. And he walked, what's your name, sir? Matt walks up and he's like, hey, are you vlogging? And I was like, no, but I should be. So we get out the camera, we shoot some video, hanging out at the Dot Mod booth. It's crazy. It's a fun event, though. It's it's big. It's bigger than I thought it would be. It's really big. <laughs> but it's cool. I had some great juices yesterday. I'm excited about it. It's like I got some pink lemonade juice. It's like the best I've ever had from right there, Mona's Pantry or something like that. It's so good. Their pink lemonade and their something cloudy lemonade. It's so good. And the Moo e liquids. Go try Moo. Moo liquids. They have a banana milk. Uh, it's so good. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But yeah, so there's some video. Hope that makes the vlog so much better. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to turn out. We'll see. We'll see. So today got so crazy in the event that I, I had no time to shoot anything. I shot some very random stuff here and there. I walked in the front door today and I made it about 10 feet and you know, one dude stopped me, he's like, oh Graham, and I'm like, yeah, and we're shaking hands and taking pictures and before I know it, and believe me, I am not trying to brag or make myself out to be something, you know, some important fucking guy but a lot of people were interested to, to talk to me and meet me. We were shaking hands and taking pictures, and before I know it, two hours had gone by. I make my way over to the Dot Mod booth just to drop off my stuff. I've been hanging out with James and Ilya. Maybe they'll let me drop my stuff off at their booth. Sure. So I set down my backpack. I spent the entire day at the Dot Mod booth. <laughs> the entire day at the Dot Mod booth. Uh, they were nice enough to buy me lunch, get me water. Ilya bought me tea, which was, it just hit the spot so well. And everybody, you know, people that were mingling by and talking and we were shaking hands and taking selfies and talking about tanks and talking about mods and RDAs and all this stuff. And Phil and Dimitri came by, so I got to talk to them for a little bit. And there's some pictures of that. And Todd came by as well. Um, Blake Vapes actually came by as well. and. He is just a normal fucking dude. And it was really strange. I assumed that he would be in character when he came up to talk to me, but he wasn't. He wasn't Blake Vapes. It was just normal dude. And we were talking about like uh, some new stuff he has coming up. And I, you know, I didn't get any of this on video because my backpack is back behind the dot mod booth and I'm out in front and I don't ha I literally don't have a second to just pause, go get my camera and come back. But I shot a little bit of video. I'm back in the hotel room now and so far this event has been uh, just bananas. I wanted to talk about a couple things that I got. I, I believe I showed this on video, but the Mona's Pantry juices, I've really been enjoying. The pink lemonade is delicious. The Moo juice, not the strawberry milk. Where's the other one? Where's the banana one that I like? Moo e-liquids banana milk, quite delicious. Um, I think I already showed this, but uh, V-God Johnny handed me off one of their new, you know, signature Asmodus minikins with the, it's white and black and top, bottom, no gaps this time around. I only remember when I did that teal one and there were gaps and now there's no gaps in this and it's been great. I've been using it like crazy, but yeah, it's been insane. I mean, just literally insane, insane. UK Vapors, you have a great event here at UK Vape Jam. Everybody, everybody I've talked to has been very nice, super wel welcoming, very awesome, very cool. I'm honored, uh, quite honestly, to be here and to hang out with the vape community here in the UK. So tomorrow's the last day. 
Hopefully I'll get some more footage. I just need to consciously think about the fact that I need to shoot video. I get so caught up talking to people that hours and hours go by and then I'm like, well, I forgot, you know, I didn't shoot any video and it's not because I forgot, it's just because so much time went by and I didn't even think about it, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to do the best for this travel vlog. I hope it's good, I hope it's entertaining. Uh, I'm gonna go out to dinner tonight with Ronan from uh, Vape Invasion in Ireland as well as my doppelganger uh, Scribbles and uh, his lady friend, girlfriend, wife. Uh, I don't know if they're married. I don't think they're married. Not that that really matters or not that that, you know, not that you even know who I'm freaking talking about. But uh, we're all gonna go out to dinner and hang out tomorrow. Wow. Hopefully I'm gonna shoot some more. That's actually a text from Ronan. I know it because he said he'd text me at eight o'clock and it's exactly eight o'clock right now. So thank you everybody for hanging in there. We still got one more day of the event and I'm really excited about it. So we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, you can already hear the music happening when you're in the hallway. There's just loud oons oons music happening all over the place. All good. What's up, guys? Yeah, hell yeah. Let's film for Skater J. As much shit as I give Fresh Skater J, I fucking love that guy. He is just a good guy. Just a good guy. I don't know what's going on. There's so much stuff here. Hiya. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You got in the way of her coffee. Yeah, hello, it's me again. Yep. Yeah, Michael 1666 on YouTube. Oh, cool. Yeah. Very cool. Well, now you're in the vlog. Yeah, I've watched a lot of your videos as well, man, so don't worry. Awesome. Back from the very early days in the bedroom, the little cigar lights and the Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Lonnie. How are you today? How is my accountability buddy? I forgot about accountability buddy. Accountability buddy. Would you like to try this? What is it? Just give it a shot. Keep it recording. New flavor by the standard. New flavor. New flavor by the standard. By the standard. Fancy little box. Uh, it's called an elephant seat. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> God. I don't know if you tried that. Chocolate mixed strawberry using dark chocolate. Oh, this is the one you were telling me about. What do you think? Oh, that's really good. It tastes like dark chocolate. It does. I've never had that in a vape before. Oh. So do me a favor, we'll release this in like two weeks so I have a solid fighting chance. You're welcome to copy it, just give me a couple weeks. I'd like to make a little bit of Yeah, money. let him <laughs> let him make let the man make some money. I talked to Joe last night. I don't like that guy. I love He's Joe. Tall and I like his beer. He is tall and I do love his beer. I do love good. You're gonna get back to your vlog? Yeah, I'm gonna go vlog okay. some more. Yeah. Oh. Lonnie. Lonnie's a good guy.
stop and yeah. see vendors. It is. So yeah, it's been cool. They do it really well, and I was telling a few people earlier that some of the U.S. events I went to, like uh, the Florida, Tampa, Florida, was smaller than this. Yeah. It was. This is a big event. You guys have a big event here. Yeah. It's uh, huge. You got them out. You got like this one. You got Expo, which are the kind of very Americanized ones, and then yeah. You got Bake Fest sort of towards the end of the year, which is just baking in a big field. Oh yeah, just that's what you guys were telling me. Yeah, about. yeah. They passed in a big field. That's probably See, that sounds English. really fun. <laughs> that sounds cold. really fun. <laughs> Drink a beer in the sun and vape it. Yeah. Bed, <laughs> it's good. I'm, you know, the visibility in here is really good. I'm surprised you can see so far. Yeah, I think they've got the, the, the air extractors on. And yeah, that's it's, good. Uh, it's not bad. Oh yeah, look, Herman Vapes over there. <laughs> Epiclouds. Yeah. to shoot more soon. Vaping biker. Oh, I need to do a lot more as well. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> you forget to. You forget to shoot video and you're I like, oh, wait. I here with no video at all. Just yeah. forgot a lot of it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there'll be more to come, I'm sure. I'm sure. So I know I'm in the UK. This is an Irish word, right? Yeah. We learned a new word today. Hi, Leah. Hi. What word? Listen. Wait. Lumpty. Numpty. 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 With an N? Oh, I was saying Lumpty. We don't pronounce anything. Numpty. And what is Numpty? My definition? Yes. An idiot. A plume. A plume? A what? Uh, Abaddon. I don't know what any of those words mean. Abaddon is Irish. Numpty. Abaddon is Irish. Abaddon. Amadon. You, Amadon. Fucking Amadon, yeah. Fucking Amadon, yeah. That's good. I like that. I like, I like learning. I'm bringing all these back to America, by the way. I'm going to be throwing around Numpty and Amadon. Plum. 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 Yeah, Plum. Yeah, Dirty Plum. All over my videos. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, Dirty Plum. Dirty Plum. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Otherwise, we're just hanging out, uh, shooting video. I'm in this dot mod corner again. We found Ronan. Just because we found Ronan. Yeah. Just because this is where I feel safe over here in this corner. I was doing yoga earlier. Ilya was showing me yoga poses. It was good. It was great. Yeah. Deep jam. So it's basically the end of the event. Uh, a lot of vendors are shutting down now. Yeah. A lot of vendors are shutting down now and uh, it's kind of winding down. People are packing up. There's something going on on the stage and people are going bananas. I'm assuming someone's throwing t-shirts. And you throw t-shirts and people throw elbows to get a t-shirt, which is ridiculous. But that's it. I mean, I think that's the uh, event. Hopefully I filmed enough to make a full vlog. I always worry about that. And then I get home and I'm like, I wish I didn't film so much. That's what happens. Yeah, this is for the vlog. Yeah. Yeah, those guys. I'll do a quick, uh, you know, little recap when I get back to the hotel, but just wanted to uh, show you. Let me try to go back to that spot and let's see the visibility. Remember at the beginning, I said I want to come back here and then show you the visibility of it, and I think it's much better. Oh, I say it as they're doing a cloud comp. Well, you can still see down to liquid state. It's not as bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's good. The ventilation in here is actually pretty nice. It hasn't been overly loud. It's been uh, it's been good. Shout out to Herman Vapes for holding down the Epic Clouds in the UK. They're my favorite. They're my new favorite people ever. I just love them. You know, you could you really bond with someone when you go out and drink beer together, and that's exactly what we did. They're all awesome. Uh, 
people and I love them. But we're shutting down this event and uh, yeah, like I said, do a quick recap later. Woo! So yeah, the event's all done now. I'm back in my room, I'm packing up, I'm getting ready to fly back to sunny Southern California and I could not be more excited about it. Overall, I felt like the Vape Jam UK 2 was just an American event that happened in the UK. It was literally no different than, say, a Vape Summit event or an ECC event or a VPX event or something like that. It was American vendors, people like Ruthless, you know, and Local and Buckshot and so many more that I can't even think of. American vendors were there in the UK and there were some cool new juices that I got to try from a few different vendors, you know, some UK vendors, some foreign vendors, some vendors from Paris as well. And that's what was really interesting to me, not you know, seeing the same vendors that I see at every event just in a different location in the UK. It's like they, you know, people were asking me, oh, how does it compare to the events you guys have in the United States? And I said, it's, this is, this is the same. I feel like I'm in California right now. And what I thought was even more interesting than that is, unfortunately, the Q&A panel that me and Phil and Dimitri were supposed to be on just never happened. They were advertising it heavily, you know, using all of our faces, saying, come to UK Vape Jam, see an advocacy panel with Phil and Graham and Dimitri, and then it just didn't happen. And not for lack of trying, I contacted the organizers multiple times, and they never gave me times or dates. In fact, I had a great conversation just outside the main entrance after it was all done. We all happened to leave at the same time, and me and Phil and Dimitri, we had a really great conversation just about the, st you know, the state of the vape world in general right now, and how the UK Vape Jam wasn't really any different from any other event we just ten attended. And what was really bizarre was there was zero, I mean literally zero, talk by anyone about the TPD, uh, which is going to heavily, heavily affect vaping here in the UK. It wasn't even mentioned once by anybody at all, uh, not even a little bit. No talk of the TPD. The TPD will prevent any more vape jams from happening. Yeah, the TPD will prevent any future vape jams from happening. There's no advertising, so if they have an event, they wouldn't be able to advertise for it. All of the vendors there would need to be TPD compliant in that, you know, no juice bottles over 10 mils, no tanks over 2 mils. Um, possibly regulated voltage and wattage to certain levels. I mean, the TPD is coming down in the UK and no one seems to be talking about it. And I don't think any of the attendees there today realized that the TPD will be preventing any future vape jams at all. This will be the last vape jam in the UK. I highly, seriously, immensely I can't think of another word. A lot, lot, very much, a lot doubt that they will be able to do another vape jam in the UK just because of the TPD and there was no TPD doc talk at all, which I felt was bad, depressing. The people, the vapors at the event were just awesome. Everybody in the UK that I talked to, and it wasn't just people in the UK. I talked to people from Belgium and Paris and the UK and Ireland and Scotland and everywhere, and everybody was super nice. Just super excited about vaping, super nice to talk to. We have some great conversations with a lot of really great vapors in the UK. So the people at the event made this a really great event felt like an American event. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. Like, why would, you know, what would be different about a UK event? I don't know, but it felt like an American event. And the people, though, the people are what made this event worth it. I had some great conversations. I got to meet and greet and take pictures with so many fucking really cool people. I just had a really good time, but there was kind of this, you know, 
lingering elephant in the room that nobody was talking about, the TPD. I just thought that was so weird. I figured, you know, the TPD kind of would have been at the forefront. Like, instead of having a vendor X go up on stage for 20 minutes and throw free juice and t-shirts at the crowd, which let me tell you, watching people throw elbows at each other for a free t-shirt is kind of depressing. Maybe use that time to inform everyone at the event, which was a lot of people, about the TPD and how it's going to affect future events and how it's going to affect the way that they vape. It was just, uh, it was weird. It was a mixed bag, but like I said, overall I had a really fun event, but it wasn't, it was, wow. Oh, did you guys hear that thunder and lightning? It is gonna rain tonight here, here in foggy London town. Yeah, it's gonna rain like crazy, but that completely startled me and got me off track. But I think what made this event great was the people. Um, I got to spend a lot of time with new people. I got to hang out with James and Ilya from DotMod, who I think are, are fantastic people and they make just a fantastic product. I was It's funny because I was actually a huge fan of their products before I actually ever met them and, and you know became friends with them. I liked their products before, you know what I mean? So really interesting. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to Herman Vapes in the UK. If you're in the area, Herman Vapes is amazing. All the guys that work there are so freaking cool and they represent the Namber Juice brand, Epic Clouds and Grim Cult and the Grim Army just uh, unflinchingly like they are just into it and they love it and you know i had more people at this event um tell me how much they like the juice more than any other event like people would just walk up and be like forgive my really bad british accent they just be like oh mate pounder you know so good oasis mist so good i've been it's cracking on with it and they love it they have been loving it and that just brings a smile to my face every time when someone says yeah yig is my all-day vape i just absolutely love it i go yeah thank you i'm glad that you like it because that you know that is awesome that's i love it too and i love that you love it and anyway i'm just getting off rambling here so um Gonna fly back to the States tomorrow, like I said, and then, uh, yeah, tonight we're going out to dinner with a bunch of people. Once again, not gonna bring my camera just because it's big and clunky and camera-like, and in the middle of dinner, uh, I don't necessarily wanna be putting people on the spot while they're stuffing fish and chips into their face. But regardless, like I said, did have a great time, um, and uh, I hope to get back to the UK soon so I can see all you crazy UK vapors again. But. Until then, that's the vlog, that's what I got. Uh, I don't even know my schedule. We're gonna be getting back to normal here pretty soon. Um, I'm taking a lot of the summer off from vape events just because it takes its toll on your body. I did uh, 18 or 19 events last year and it really just ran me into the ground and I would like to spend uh, my, you know, my second summer in San Diego actually enjoying where I live and enjoying the city and, uh, you know, having fun uh, in the summertime because that's what it's for, right? But thank you everybody so much for the support and thank you for hanging in there with me while I do all this traveling and I hope you like the travel vlogs and uh, yeah, uh, that's what I got. This is the end of the UK Vape Jam vlog. Uh, that's what I got everybody. Thank you so much for watching and as always, hey, right there, I got a vape. Let's keep on vaping. Be God.